Joel, so good to be with you, man. Jimmy. Uh, yep, let's yeah, do a shake. Yep, just you and I. <laughs> I wish that Hannah and Benjamin were with us, but they are on opposite ends of the world right now. That's exactly. right. But we're together. We're together. Feels good. Uh, but talk about this song, God's mm-hmm. Song. I know you wrote this with Ben and Hannah. Mm-hmm. And um, man, talk about the lyric of this. We were just chatting about it a little bit. And um, mm-hmm. just tell a little bit of the story. I know, I think Ben and Hannah worked on it first. Yeah, I wasn't there for the start of it. Hannah sent me a, a demo, really, it was like in the thick of the first part of lockdown. And um, and it was just like this melody, and there was some like interesting words in there, like which happens usually when Ben's around. Um, and so I listened to it, and to me it had this kind of, I didn't know what kind of song it was, I just was listening, and and she'd asked specifically, like it needs a bridge, needs somewhere to go, we don't know where it should go. Um, didn't feel like it had a chorus, Didn't it, it was just like three stanzas, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and so I, I remember listening to it and, and as it got through the journey of those kind of, the, just the music and the melody, like it, it really started unlocking something. I, I can't quite explain it, but I remember scrambling to like turn, get my, get my computer on while it was playing. And then the moment it got to the end, I, I just started playing piano and, and basically just started singing. Um, and it, and it, it was almost like that moment was just a response to whatever, the, the first those, the first part of the song kind of did and it just felt again just really really natural and easy and like I just wanted to sing this this what is now the bridge over and over um, and so I just recorded that as it kind of was and sent it back um, something like this and to Ben and Ben wrote back and he's like yeah he's like he just loved it and so then we just kind of it just sat there for a long time and the lyrics were kind of all over the place there wasn't really any lyric to it and um so I kind of went back in and just looked at, at some of these thoughts and, and we just kind of unpackaged it all out. And, um, and you know, what I realized was um, there's something just so powerful. When you think about what it is to worship God or why, what it is for us to kind of give thanksgiving or surrender or, or devotion or whatever it is that we bring, like throughout, you know, mm. out of, from the depths of our heart um, with breath, you know, I think that was the picture, was this idea, it's like this, this God of the universe, this God who's outside the ends of time, this God who is the architect of life, mm-hmm. you know, and, and um, you know, every, he draws every breath, and I love that picture, but this idea that uh, everything is, is a response, but this God is, cares so much about intimacy and so much about our, our need for him, our dependence on him, and so much on our desire to honor him and to place him, not just first in our lives, but like to, to consume whatever it is that we do with our hands or with mm-hmm. our time or with our words or with our lives or with our gifts. Like when you think about worship in its purest form, and yet the God who is just magnificent beyond our understanding all of that is captured in the depths of who we are mm. with the simplicity wow. of bringing a song to him. Mm. And you see it all the way through scripture, you know, wanting to bring a new song. Why? Because there's something so intimate and so beautiful about the, the, in, the way that God inhabits our praises. Like that concept that God, he dwells within us. He inhabits our praises. Like he's carried within our response of breath and sound and singing and words and, and whatever else that carries from our heart of hearts. Like that's the picture of worship in its purest form. That's why I'm still here. That's why I think you're here. Like, because there's nothing else in this world that satisfies the soul, you know, um, like that does. And to me, that's what this song, I think it, that's when I listen to it, when I sing it, um, it's like the purest, most simplest picture of, of what we're created for. And uh, yeah. Wow. That's so good. Oh